my god. Hello? 911? Yes, it's Matt. My, um, my friend Vanessa was driving and I don't even know what happened. My friend Frankie's not responding and I can't... Oh, come quickly as you can. I have no idea where I am. Oh. Vanessa, what the heck? What the heck happened? Uh, Maddie. What's that? Matt, I can't feel my legs. Oh my god. Oh my I, god. I can't. Where are you? Okay, they're on their way. The cops are on their way. What is... No, I don't want that. Give me those. Get out of here. Frankie? Frankie? What are you... Oh my god. Someone help! Please! Vanessa, give me those! Are you serious? What the heck? No!
this is uh, they pull the home line off uh, just in case anything happens with a uh, gas tank rupture. Uh, we want to make sure we have a hand line in place to put a fire on.
You know that when when it's determined that a person is deceased in a crash like this, then um, there's no reason to immediately remove that body. It's uh, more important, of course, to tend to those people who are still alive and injured rather than that. So it's usually uh, once it's confirmed that they are deceased, it's usually um, at the end of the of the rescue, and it's more of a recovery as opposed to a rescue. And of course, the uh, medical examiner's office. Um, responds to the scene and, and um, takes care of the body. So uh, that is not unusual if you see that happening. Sometimes uh, after our accident, the person is standing on one side and maybe up against the wall on another side, so the only option is to take the entire roof off the top and then have to take the patient that way. Wow. Some accidents, uh, there could be a lot of uh, blood loss inside the car. So I've been uh, I've been at accidents where the paramedics actually got in before the fire department extricated the person and actually got an IV inside of the car before they got him out. Because uh, if the person bleeds out in there, there's there's no point in you know in doing all this. So sometimes there's medical procedures that have to be done still inside of the car before you actually get them out, and that is very challenging because a lot of times uh, there's, uh, it's hard to get in because it's a terrible accident. So you're in a very uncomfortable position. It's dark, sometimes it's cold or snowy, the car may be upside down. 